Hi, I'm Rani Kinyeso. This is Nicole Boone. I'm Melissa Aguilas, also known as Books and Boba. And you are watching Rise and Shine with Bill and Creative. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to Rise and Shine. And today is a special episode. It's a culinary casino episode. Uh, we're here with Rex and Ronnie and Kami, our cast, but we're welcoming back two great guests that we had earlier in the season. We've got Ariel. Hi, Ariel. And we've got Alyssa. And for all Hi. our fans, for all our fans of uh, the show, you remember that uh, we had a boba episode in the fall, and we talked about uh, celebrating National Boba Day. So this Friday is actually National Boba Day, and Rex is going to talk about the background of that in a second. But when we talked about celebrating National Boba Day, we talked about how it might be interesting to celebrate with alcohol. So today. And next week, we're having a two-part episode, and we're having, for you guys, eight special alcoholic boba recipes. We know you're going to love this. And Rex, can you tell us a little bit about the history of uh, National Boba Day? Yeah, National Boba Day, a.k.a. National Bubble Tea Day, uh, it's rather an, a very young holiday. Um, it got uh, officially designated by the registrar back in 2018 and it was registered by um, a tea shop out in New York called Kung Fu Tea and as a way of marketing their shop you know because New York you know number one market in the country they decided to designate a national bubble tea day and so they went to the registrar and did it for marketing purposes and it stuck and now everybody knows April 30th as national bubble tea day uh, here in the United States. Very cool. Very cool. So, and of course, with all due respect to our friends on the East coast, we are not East coast biased. We call That's it, that's right. We call it Boba. It's not <laughs> bubble tea. It's Boba. So today we're going to be celebrating Boba. So anyway, um, <laughs> our fellow cast member, Ronnie is going to be pulling double duty today and we're going to go into Ronnie's kitchen and she's going to make something, but we're going to kick it off today with our friend Alyssa. So Alyssa, how you doing? Rise and shine. Good morning. Rise, Rise and shine. shine. Good morning. Happy Boba Day. I'm Alyssa Gilos, also known as Books and Boba. Um, and today I have Irish coffee. Nothing says morning like coffee. So um, I have this really cute uh, coffee glass that I that I kind of stole from my sister but she's in korea right now so it's fine um no problem. <laughs> and You're i in also korea. Have, uh, right. she's in seoul she's visiting seoul right now for yes. um study abroad um and i have just your regular usually it's a sea cream coffee you can order sea cream coffee from seven leaves but i got the jug because i'm going to be serving this coffee a little bit later and i just wanted to save some for later but all you need to do is grab your favorite coffee it up. You can use ice or no ice. Oh, smells like coffee. Love that. <laughs> and then you just add your favorite Irish cream, like Bailey's. I think that's like Ed's favorite drink. Bailey's is so good. Watch I'm this. having it right now. <laughs> e. Whoa, nice. Oh, I love the <laughs> markers. Pretty. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to be extra, because we are all extra, mm -hmm. um, so extra, you can use the sea cream from uh, Seven Leaves or any sort of whipped foam that you have. And sea cream, if you're familiar with it, is actually um, mixed with um, sea salt. Mm -hmm. And pos and sometimes it's used with cream cheese. So it really depends on the recipe, but those are the main ingredients. And there you have it. Wow. And now all we need to do is add our boba. That's right. Oh, and the boba does not fit in the thingy. I'm going to use the cream thing because. Now, did you make your boba, Alyssa? Uh, this morning I did, and I actually got it from Seven Leaves, but um, mm. they. It's usually the one that I freeze. <laughs> uh. Alyssa, the Seven Leaves, mm -hmm. Seven Leaves is like open that early just um just for whomever may be close or in proximity to a seven leaves 
So like, during the week, like, like days, morning boba. During the weekdays, I've gotten boba as early as like seven thirty because some of them, some of the places open at six. Um, oh. On the weekends, they actually open at eight, but the boba won't be available until nine. Mm. Still, sort of like early for boba. <laughs> Pretty early. <laughs> it's very early for boba. But is it really? I know it's like if you were yeah. up since four. At How like does it taste, two? Alyssa? How's it taste? I mean, if you like cream and coffee, it's so good. Patrick's <laughs> <laughs> exactly. calling your name, Ed. All right. So that, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, in, mm-hmm. shot terms, in shot terms, about how many shots of Bailey's is in that drink? You usually do a um, a one to four ratio. Or I do, or like one to, one to three ratio. So I do six ounces of uh, coffee and two ounces of um, Bailey's. Was it... Did, did you say that right? Was that six ounces of Bailey's and two ounces of coffee? Was that? Is, is... I think that was fish. Well, Ed, Ed. Is Ed? If you want to do it that way. I mean, Mr. I might Ed not make Ed it is. to the end of the episode, but yeah. <laughs> I don't think anybody is. Exactly. I'm jealous. That's so funny. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was the first round of uh, boba. Wow. So, that was Woo-hoo. Irish coffee boba. So thank you so much, Alyssa. Hi, this is Walter Bohlholz. I'm proud to be one of the co-founders of Philam Creative and serve as a member of the board of directors. In case you didn't know about us, I'd like to share with you our mission statement. Philam Creative Incorporated educates and advocates the Filipino-American entertainment community and all looking for a collaborative workspace in order to achieve greater representation, and career advancement. Although we're based in Southern California, Film Creative's reach can be felt worldwide. If you're interested in joining us behind the scenes to produce or promote our many programs and initiatives, visit our website at philamcreative.org. That's philamcreative.org. And contact us to learn how you can join our cause. For students, we also have internships available for you to gain valuable experience. Visit us to learn more at philamcreative.org. Ariel, who's going to, and by the way, I love that shirt. Yeah. And Ariel is going to be making matcha madness. Ooh, morning, Ariel. So morning. Good morning, everyone. Mabuhay. <laughs> Rise and shine. Rise and shine, exactly. So, um, as you said, I am making a uh, Matcha Madness, so our base, of course, matcha, I get mine at Sencha, and um, certain Costco's actually have this, so if you live in a predominantly Asian community, your Costco probably has this. Oh my god. My mom actually got these for me since I do not, but hey, there's online, so (laughs) I fill this up. You don't really need that much matcha, because, um... I don't really like it bitter so I always put about like if you can see two teaspoons and this is a eight ounce cup or 16 ounce cup so this um is a pretty big cup and then my most useful purchase I've ever made my hot water dispenser never have to boil water ever again wow my, That's amazing. Um, and I use it for literally everything. You can make it for soup, but you don't have to boil anything up. I And since I make a lot of boba or make a lot of teas or coffee, I definitely use this every day. But so after this, it is still pretty bitter. So I use agave, you can use sugar, um, honey, whatever you use to sweeten your coffees or teas. Then. So usually people use milk or um, non-dairy creamer. I use um, powder and you can use anything you want. It just basically kind of makes this a bit more milky. And I'm not using this much because I'm putting a cream on top of it. So mix that up. So it sounds pretty simple so far. I mean, it's just like a couple of teas, maybe one teaspoon. Um, Yeah, if you get, matcha can go a long way. 
especially mm -hmm. if you get pretty good matcha, you don't need to use that much mm -hmm. to make it flavorful. Mm -hmm. And then what I'm using is a matcha sake. I can you can get this at any Asian market, any Galleria. Did you I say matcha sake? I've never heard of that, that before. Blew my mind. Can we can we talk about matcha sake what? for a second? Yes. <laughs> yeah, you can get. I got mine at um, the Galleria or maybe H Mart in K Town. So yeah, I. Um, but you you didn't put enough there, right? Oh yeah. So. No, like, no. That, that, this is the beautiful thing. There's nothing about measurements. It's just. Oh, oh no. Okay. So I'm feeling okay. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> to taste. It's by taste, exactly. Measure to taste. <laughs> I think so measurements are mostly for legal reasons too. Yeah, so yeah, you're yeah. making it in your own home. <laughs> Anything's legal in your own home, right? That's how that works. We'll have to talk to our lawyer. If it's at home, you can do anything. And then for this, Don't I just drink boba and drive everybody. Oh yeah. That's when you leave your home. Then it's a problem. <laughs> But anything behind closed doors, it can happen. <laughs> We're already getting turned on the mobile episode. I love it. But basically, I finished this off. Then I, I used um, strawberry compost as well as heavy whipping cream. You don't need to use that much sugar since strawberry is already pretty sweet. And the matcha is already sweetened. So basically, just top that off. And then you'll have a strawberry. Oh my gosh. So that kind of gives the whipped cream kind of topping. Yeah, then effect. it kind of gives the cream kind of topping. And I love strawberry and matcha. So nice. Nice. Sugar and I alcohol. love that combo too because matcha it's is such very a classic like combination. Right, right. And 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 Alyssa, you can probably talk more about it. Like matcha is very like earthy and kind of like not not like dirt, <laughs> but like. It just it just but, tastes very like like um mineral. It has a it has a, like a bitter. It's more on the bitter end of the spectrum. Bit, I feel bitter. Like. Mm -hmm. When you balance it out with the sweetness of the the strawberry, yeah, it it turns out really well. Love it. That is that looks beautiful. Wow. It's so healthy. All the sugar and alcohol. And yeah, all the, the only sugar really is from uh, the agave, and you can you know sub this out with any other sugar of your choice, or you don't mm -hmm. even need sugar since um, the strawberry will already have that kind of sweetness. Right. And, and the boba. <laughs> and the boba as well. I chose to opt out since um, I, uh, I wanted to get the drink really in, but yeah, plus the boba, you usually can sweeten that with brown sugar or whatever sugar of your choice. Awesome. Would you say yeah, that it's pretty great. bitter sweet, Ariel? Bittersweet, yeah, bittersweet, but definitely more on the sweet end, especially for me. I love sweets. That looks great. That looks great, Ariel. Oh Let's get another close-up for that. Let's get another close-up for that. I hope you guys are taking pictures of these. We would we would love to. I, I'm sure that Jeremiah would appreciate that too. So <laughs> that's right. Yes, yes. Well, that looks wonderful, Ariel. Wow. Hold yeah, on, thumbs up there. <laughs> I think your dog approves. The too. dog loves it too. So yeah, she's like, what "Oh my gosh, so cute!" <laughs> she's like, "Y'all in the kitchen, but y'all not giving me no treats." <laughs> oh, <laughs> no morning treats. But hey, if you could feed him boba, that would be great. <laughs> I know. Yeah, oh my gosh! <laughs> Rise and shine. Hey guys, it's Ed. Thanks for listening today, and did you guys know that Rise and Shine is part of the Philam Creative Umbrella, and that we're a registered nonprofit? And as a nonprofit organization, Philam Creative depends on generous donations from fine folks like you to help us to continue to produce great programming like Rise and Shine. Please consider making a donation to help produce shows like Rise and Shine. Our Venmo is at Phil Am Creative. That's at Phil Am Creative. And if you don't do Venmo, but you still want to donate a few quid to us, then drop us an email at riseandshinefac at gmail.com. That's riseandshinefac at gmail.com, and we'll help you out. We at Rise and Shine appreciate your generosity. Every dollar helps. Well, thank you so much, Ariel, for that. Man, that, that looks like a wonderful drink. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we're going to continue on. 
actually with one of our cast members, Miss Ronnie, Hello. who greets everyone every episode of Rise and Shine. She is actually going to make a drink, and she actually calls this the high blood. Now, I, uh, I, I'm going to have her explain that. So a couple places where this uh, came. So the high blood. I wanted to do, so one of my favorite drinks is called a Greyhound. You may also know it as a salty dog. Um, mm. Fun fact, there is a bar in Oakland, where I'm from, uh, oh, okay. and it, had, it specializes in, in something called a Greyhound, which is just vodka and grapefruit. So, oh. and they use fresh grapefruit, the place is called a Cafe Van Cleef. I actually had my first date with my current partner there. So it's very new. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all so, right. This um, got history. I don't remember how that night so went, cute. I had about four greyhounds that night. So nice. in honor for that, I wanted to um, pay homage to the greyhound and to Papa J's Lambanog Vodka, which is um, a coconut, nectar based vodka from Mabu mm -hmm. High Spirits. Thank you, That's Papa right. Jays. Um, they have been a friend of Phil and Creative for a really long time. Sponsored yeah. us Philippine love. vodka, ladies and gentlemen. Philippine, Philippine vodka. vodka. It's and really it's delicious. Good. It's so smooth. Like you won't even know it's there. You won't. And it'll Dangerous. it'll happen Dangerous. later. So, um so I made I made you guys I made we made boba for this today. We got a big old bag Ooh. and then like i didn't know that like like the last episode we had we had you um i believe it was you ariel who made the boba in like the pot and you're like oh, stirring yeah. it it was it's incredible it's crazy like it's when you get boba i'm sorry it's gonna be like i'm just this is the first time i ever made boba at home you get it and it's like kind of crumbly like in yeah. its raw form yeah, and then like you put it in there for like 20 minutes and then it becomes like, can you see this okay? Um, you can, you get it and then it becomes like the boba you know and love, but it's not sweetened. So then we found this stuff at the at um, the Japanese market. It's all in Japanese, so I'm not quite sure what it is, <laughs> but uh, it's uh, in the little, there's, I love my Japanese store because uh, Tokyo Central, because I have little, explainers of what stuff is so this is like a, a honey brown sugar syrup um and we just use it to sweeten our boba so it's very sweet guys okay so on to it. Hey. <laughs> well that's one of the reasons why it's called the high blood this drink's not super healthy and i'll tell you why <laughs> because it is oh, darn. Um, oh so we're gonna start with i've probably been doing this while people like this is how I bartend at home. Um, I'll start off with the Papo J's Lamanac Vodka. Um, just however much you want and however, however your day is going. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Yeah, keep going there, keep going. Yeah, just however your count day is going. Count the 10. You're just going <laughs> to give it a 10 count. Um, <laughs> so do that. And then uh, my favorite seltzer water or mineral water right now is Topo Chico because I'm a bougie. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get some of that in there. So any kind of like seltzer water or carbonated? Yes, uh, the better, the, the more carbonation, the better, because um, I like a, I like a carbonated boba drink. Mm -hmm. Like we, we, I don't think, we, I don't see them anywhere outside of like maybe boba guys. So if you guys know like any other places that do carbonated boba drinks, let me know, because I love that. What, um, what you got, Alyssa, on that? <laughs> yes. So, and Topo Chico. I need I to love... dive into my boba banks and like try yes. to figure out. Boba banks. I love it. <laughs> That's Do so it. Cool. I want to know. I want to know where these carbonated bobas are. Um, and I love it because the bubbles will stick to the outside of the boba balls, and you can like, you can feel it. You can feel it. You can peel it. That's called Speaking chemistry. Of <laughs> Speaking of feeling it, we also feeling. have fresh grapefruit always because um, it's so good, guys. Like, yeah. I love feeling. So you kind of you just cut the grapefruit in wedges, I guess, and then you just uh, extract the juice out. Is that we right? do at Cafe Van Cleef. They straight up like cut them in half, and they have like one of those pressers. Oh yeah, because yeah, yeah. they're making them all freaking night, and people are drunk and yelling at them, so they need to like do it quick. So that's not basing it off of just like um, for for our Bay Bay Area people out there. I want hella grapefruit juice. Like I love grapefruit juice. So let's get that. Let's that all in there. And then 
one thing that makes this um so and i also have my from snow yes Monster. yes yeah, i have that so cup cute, i love right? that cup so oh cute awesome. uh, i'm going to rim this um Ooh. okay and this is one thing that makes the high blood a little bit of high blood <laughs> because we're gonna add some salt <laughs> kind of a lot of salt <laughs> like wow. and, this is, and this is malden sea salt like it's if you guys don't know what that is it's a it's like six dollars a box <laughs> and, oh, wow. bougie salt that's the bougie it, sea salt it's super bougie but i love it because it's like flaky and it's delicious mm. so i'm just gonna add like a heavy pinch a heavy like salt bay pinch in my drink i'm gonna have, add a heavy salt bay, uh, a, a healthy salt bay pinch in there i'm gonna rim my glass oops with mm. i'm gonna rim my glass with more salt and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna start lining it with, um, I'm gonna do my garnish and salt. And well, the reason- My grapefruit with salt. Amazing. Yeah, ahead, so the reason why this actually works is that uh, uh, you're combining a lot of sour flavors with a lot of salty flavors, but your tongue and your mind gets confused. I'm sure you can go into this, right, Ronnie? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, no, please explain it while I, cause I can't, I can't science and, and <laughs> okay. at the same time. <laughs> so it's, it's a weird, uh, it's a weird, uh, brain trick that happens where when you combine a salty flavor with a sour flavor, it turns out sweet. Mm -hmm. Amen. So if you've ever eaten like lemon or calamansi and you put salt on it or like, you, I, I don't know if you do, you've done that before, but I, I've yes. definitely done that. Yeah. And you just eat the calamansi straight, like with salt, it just turns out really sweet. Yeah, it kind of tricks the brain into thinking that it's a sweet combination, whether it, where you're, but you're actually combining two sour and salty elements. And mm -hmm. I think that's what Ronnie's doing here to give the effect that it's sweet, especially with the I, salt. I mean, you're, it looks like you're putting a lot of salt in there. Right? Salt. Right. There's a I lot of salt, guys. And also because like grapefruit, yeah, grapefruit's super sour. Mm -hmm. um, the Lombinog vodka is actually pretty sweet. So you can adjust, of course, to your taste. Right. Um, and then I put a bunch of boba in there. And the boba, like I said, the syrup that we use, like mm -hmm. really sweet. Like, mm -hmm. I like too sweet. Like, ugh. <laughs> so, but so like you got, yeah. That's where the high it's blood so comes in. That's where the high blood comes the in. The high blood. <laughs> so we're gonna top a little more topo. And yeah, keep because, going, keep um, going. You know, because I'm a fancy, because I'm a fancy bitch, I like to garnish. We're garnishing and we're putting our salted fruit all up in there. Wow. Mm -hmm. And oh, wait, there's more fruit. Like, like I said, I really like grapefruit, guys. Like, we're just going to shove it in there. That is beautiful. And I hope you're taking a picture. Wow. Of that. that is beautiful. Yeah. We we're going to shove looks... them all in there. And of course, we got our reusable metal boba straw from Boba Guys. Because you know, I like turtles, and here we go a Ooh. gigantic, fizzy cocktail boba cocktail that has way too much salt in it. Can, can you, uh, <laughs> can you uh, zoom in on that? Can we get a close up on that? We oh, call it the high blood. Wow, wow, mm. yeah, Love tell it. us how it tastes there, Ronnie. Oh my gosh, so. It's not one of those drinks that you're like, I can't taste the alcohol. It's so good. No, nah, we put a lot of alcohol in here. <laughs> but <laughs> it's it's so great because you have the sour from the grapefruit and then a little bit of lemon. You do this actually needs more, more salt. Sorry, doctors. Oh, keep going, <laughs> keep going. Wow. Yeah, I can see where the high blood's coming in now. Yes. I, I hope you have low blood so that you can have high blood. <laughs> <laughs> You just got to detox after this. Um, but yeah, you got the salty, you got the sweet, you got the citrus, and then it's all really refreshing because it's also bubbly. And it's like, I didn't realize how big I made this drink, guys. This is going to be on in a second. I feel and I, I can already really taste the alcohol. That so definitely mouth-watering. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. I feel like Ronnie's not going to make it to the second episode because she's... Oh, uh, no. Yeah, oh, the way drink. that, yeah. <laughs> This is so I don't good. think it's anyone like else carbs. is, you know. <laughs> it's carbs from the boba, it's sugar, it's salt. Oh my god. I like I said, if you guys don't see me after this, it's because I'm on the floor. So welcome. <laughs> and it's not Versace. Any sugary, any sugary <laughs> drink will will uh 
metabolize faster. I think I forget. I don't know if that's the right word, but something. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. get you. <laughs> I do want to. I do want to say that I love the uh, science uh, references in this particular recipe. <laughs> it it reminds me of a previous episode with uh, our friends Mia and Stacy from yeah. uh, the Baker's Notebook. So <laughs> if you're watching us on YouTube, watch that previous episode with uh, Doctor Stacy. We should have mm -hmm. her back for the next Boba episode. But, uh, <laughs> Ronnie, that's a winner. That looks great. Wow. That man, I, I'd love to take a swig or 20 on that one. Or 20. It's oh, did I say that out loud? I said 20. <laughs> and the boba got salty too. So it's like Ooh. salty, sweet boba. It's, it's all and it's very cold. I have to put it down. <laughs> that's the Not good for your body, but really good for your fun times <laughs> if you got space there put uh it's a put it closer so we can get a good close-up of that ronnie yeah mm, totally oh, that's, homemade that looks great congratulations to our fellow cast member ronnie <laughs> yeah. and i love the straw yeah well you know that that's love awesome. a metal boba straw hey everyone rex here with rise and shine did you know there's not one not two, but three different ways you could check out our weekly Rise and Shine episodes. New episodes drop every Tuesday on our YouTube channel at Rise and Shine FAC. And you can listen to the Rise and Shine podcast as you commute to work or walking your daily steps by downloading Rise and Shine wherever you get your favorite podcast. And lastly, you can always join our live audience tapings on Facebook Live Saturday mornings, 10 a.m., Pacific Standard Time. So that's three different ways you could fill up on your Rise and Shine diet every week. So please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page at Rise and Shine FAC and watch new episodes every Tuesday or download us wherever you get your favorite podcast. And thanks again for watching and listening to Rise and Shine. By the way, since uh Ronnie's already really celebrating his <laughs> I think drink. So, so while while Ronnie <laughs> tries to contemplate if she can make it to the next episode, don't forget to follow us on uh, Instagram and I on Facebook. Yeah, don't forget to follow us on social media and subscribe to us here on YouTube. And Rex, I think I think we have one more. Do we have one more episode? Or I'm sorry, one more drink for this. Oh, uh, I, I I think we could we can put the audience through one more boba alcoholic. If, if drink you can here. survive. Yes, I. <laughs> Get your DDs ready. We got one more drink. Well, I, I, I think after all of this, we're definitely going to have a major boba party. Uh, you know, when we do see, I think this is going to be amazing. But yeah, one more drink uh, to close this out. We're going to go back to Ariel. Mm -hmm. And um, I, when I saw the name of the drink, I just thought it was the cutest damn thing I, I saw here. So she's Ariel calls this uh, last drink the bubbling butterfly. Okay, oh. So. Adorable. Uh, <laughs> so Ariel, yes, take us, take it away. Uh, show us how to make this bubbling butterfly. So what I do is that my first step I use, so I use magic butterfly herbal tea. Um, it's that tea that comes out purple and for so, your shirt. Yeah, like, like my your shirt. shirt. Yes. Oh, Rest in peace, Prince. <laughs> I need a I need a show out. So there you go. Yeah. A tea steeper. And basically I use my hot water dispenser, mm -hmm. let this stay for a few minutes, then super easy comes out all purple. Wow. And then so you know, put a couple of cubes of a uh, few cubes of ice. Yes, sir. This is very fruity, very uh, summery. I put mm -hmm. a lemon in there. Mm -hmm. mm. I use elderberry and rose lemonade since this is very fruity. And is then, that a is that a is that like a liqueur or is that some sort of like a syrup of some kind? This is just bubbling um lemonade actually. Okay. It's bubbling okay. lemonade. So basically, like we're gonna a carbonated boba. <laughs> Yeah, when you had yours, I was like, oh my gosh, I totally yes. And then basically I finish it off with St. Ger Germain. St. Germain. Yeah, it tastes exactly like lychee, very sweet. 
So, you know, it depends on your taste. Yeah, keep, keep going. Keep yeah, keep going. keep going there. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're noticing a theme this week, Rex. Yes, I think so. <laughs> keep going. Hashtag keep going. <laughs> and then give it a good mix. Get that in there. And then I love to garnish too. I was like, I'm getting total summer vibes. Mm-hmm. Oh! I'm getting vaccines. And then this would be just a perfect time to get out. Wow. You know, things are becoming more safer. Uh-huh. Knock on everything continues us forward and we'll be exactly soon. Can you can you give us a quick taste of that? Of course. So yeah, very fruity, very, very summer. Like if you want a very just cool drink. You don't you don't taste the alcohol at all, actually. So this is what they all say. (laughs) (laughs) That's what they all say. (laughs) So this is definitely, you know, if you if you don't if you don't like alcohol that much as I do, because now I'm getting kind of like, oh, I taste it. This is definitely for you. It's super sweet, super, super fun, super. I want to go out and have a summer time. And what's this drink called again, Ariel? This is the, um, so I call this the sparkling butterfly drink since I did um, use lemonade, a bunch of floral taste. So I kind of wanted that to reflect everything I used. Man, that looks so wonderful. Oh my gosh. So cute. I love the color. Yeah. Very. I, I didn't know there was purple tea. That That's amazing. Purple rain, purple tea. Purple yeah. Rain. You know, I got a color scheme going on. I do I love, love the preparation, stuff. all of it. <laughs> and it's so simple. It just looks so simple to put together and everything that, you know, anybody can can really yeah, kind of do this. Exactly. Super simple. And you, it doesn't feel too heavy. It's mm-hmm. very light. You can definitely drink this multiple times. So oh <laughs> You'll see me on the next episode with a bunch of Asian glow. It'll be, oh no. Ooh, that, no this yeah. this, this, this tea could be like the appetizer, you yeah. know, just kind of like, you know, hey, this will be first course. Let's I go feel, to the second course. <laughs> I feel like we're just getting started here. So, so everybody, don't forget that this Friday is National Boba Day, and we've just given you four fantastic recipes that you can have and celebrate but next week we're actually going to be back because we're going to give you four more because Cinco de Mayo is coming up next week and Star Wars Day is coming up next week so we figured what the heck let's have uh Ariel and Alyssa back and I don't know if Ronnie's gonna come back Ronnie uh is really enjoying that drink there yeah I don't know if she can uh, make it through her first one oh yeah exactly we're hoping she comes back if not though uh, we'll be good but uh (laughs) Wow, that is great. So just real quick before we uh, before we uh, close up for this week, can you ladies just, uh, we'll, we'll go around in order, and can you just tell us again the names of the drinks that you had? So I, I believe we started with Alyssa. Alyssa, your drink was? An Irish coffee. All right. And then Ariel, you had two drinks. What was the first one? So I had the Matcha Madness, the one with my strawberry cream, and then I had my sparkling butterfly drink which was my lemonade as well as my nice. all right and then finally our executive director of philam creative yes. ronnie what did you have i had the i had the high blood my <laughs> take on a boba greyhound lots of salt lots of citrus <laughs> lots of papa <laughs> juice vodka thanks papa juice lots of everything wow Okay, well, if you liked this episode, uh, like you like all the episodes, please don't forget to follow us on Instagram and on Facebook. And right here, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please follow us. And uh, don't forget that next week we'll be back. And don't forget that this Friday is National Boba Day. So on behalf of Rex and Ronnie and Kami and Alyssa and Ariel, we want to thank you for watching this part one of our boba celebration and we will be back next week with part two so stay tuned for that thanks everybody happy boba day guys cheers hey everyone rex here with rise and shine did you know there's not one not two but three different ways you could check out our weekly rise and shine episodes 
New episodes drop every Tuesday on our YouTube channel at Rise and Shine FAC. And you can listen to the Rise and Shine podcast as you commute to work or walking your daily steps by downloading Rise and Shine wherever you get your favorite podcast. And lastly, you can always join our live audience tapings on Facebook Live, Saturday mornings, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So that's three different ways you could fill up on your Rise and Shine diet every week. So please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page at Rise and Shine FAC and watch new episodes every Tuesday or download us wherever you get your favorite podcast. And thanks again for watching and listening to Rise and Shine. rise and shine hey guys it's ed thanks for listening today and did you guys know that rise and shine is part of the philam creative umbrella and that we're a registered nonprofit? and as a nonprofit organization philam creative depends on generous donations from fine folks like you to help us to continue to produce great programming like rise and shine please consider making a donation to help produce shows like rise and shine our Venmo is at Philam Creative. That's at Philam Creative. And if you don't do Venmo, but you still want to donate a few quid to us, then drop us an email at riseandshinefac at gmail.com. That's riseandshinefac at gmail.com, and we'll help you out. We at Rise and Shine appreciate your generosity. Every dollar helps. Rise and shine. This is Kami. I hope you're enjoying the show. Did you know we have a mailing list? And did you know that you can contact us if you want to say hello to Ed, Rex, Ronnie, Veronica, or even me? Just send us an email at rise and shine FAC. That's one word spelled out. Rise and shine FAC at gmail.com. Again, that's rise and shine FAC all spelled out at gmail.com. Join our mailing list so you can be the first to find out about the latest rise and shine news. Hey, Rex here with Rise and Shine. And I want you to do something for me. Help support Rise and Shine by liking, subscribing, and following the show online. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, all under at Rise and Shine FAC. So follow the show on all social media platforms on all one word at Rise and Shine FAC. Thanks again for all the love and support. And tell all your friends about Rise and Shine. Rise and Shine. Hey everyone, this is Ed, and I got a question for you. Did you know that Rise and Shine is only one of the many things produced by Philam Creative? That's right, Philam Creative has been producing great stuff, like Rise and Shine, for over 10 years. If you want to learn more about the premier Filipino-American organization that has been the number one advocate for the Asian-American entertainment community for over a decade, then visit our website at philamcreative.org. That's philamcreative.org. Learn more about the organization that produces your favorite show, Rise and Shine. Hi, this is Walter Bolholz. I'm proud to be one of the co-founders of Philam Creative and serve as a member of the Board of Directors. In case you didn't know about us, I'd like to share with you our mission statement. Philam Creative Incorporated educates and advocates for the Filipino-American entertainment community and all looking for a collaborative workspace in order to achieve greater representation and career advancement. Although we're based in Southern California, Philam Creative's reach can be felt worldwide. If you're interested in joining us behind the scenes to produce or promote our many programs and initiatives, visit our website at philamcreative.org.
That's philamcreative.org. And contact us to learn how you can join our cause. For students, we also have internships available for you to gain valuable experience. Visit us to learn more at philamcreative.org. Rise and shine. Hey guys, it's Ed. Thanks for listening today. And did you guys know that Rise and Shine is part of the Philam Creative umbrella and that we're a registered nonprofit? And as a nonprofit organization, Philam Creative depends on generous donations from fine folks like you to help us to continue to produce great programming like Rise and Shine. Please consider making a donation to help produce shows like Rise and Shine. Our Venmo is at Philam Creative. That's at Phil Am Creative. And if you don't do Venmo, but you still want to donate a few quid to us, then drop us an email at riseandshinefac at gmail.com. That's riseandshinefac at gmail.com, and we'll help you out. We at Rise and Shine appreciate your generosity. Every dollar helps. Rise and shine. Hey guys, Ronnie here. I know my sister Veronica likes to mess with the crew, but we all really work hard to produce a quality program for you. Rise and Shine is produced by Philam Creative in association with RAS Music Group and Millennius LLC. Rise and Shine is written, created, produced, and hosted by Ed Mullen and Rex Sampaga. It also features Veronica Cunyeso, Kami Koyanko, and me, Ronnie Cunyeso. I'm also our show's stage director, which isn't easy when you gotta keep Ed and Rex in check. And finally, our amazing technical director is Jeremiah Castro. Thanks for tuning in every week to Philam Creative's number one show, Rise and Shine. Hi, this is Nicole Boone with Rise and Shine watching Philam Creative. Wait, Wait was that right? That. No. <laughs> Wait, no. no. Was that right? Yeah, it's cool. You're watching Phil I'm Creative with Rise and Shine. Hi, I'm Nicole Boone, and I'm enjoying my drink. <laughs> <laughs>